So today I'm going to take you on a tour of my work van, uh, show you some of the components and how I've optimized it to make it most efficient for me. It's a 2005 Ford E250, uh, so it's seen its days, but it works for me. Let's jump right in. All right, I'll start with showing you the outside of the van. As I mentioned, this is a 2005 Ford E250. I bought it in 2018 with 90,000 miles on it, and I'm up to about 126,000 at this point. I applied white vinyl to the rear and side windows to increase privacy when I'm driving around. As you can imagine, I've had to keep up with the rust every year, so I've been doing my own repairs and painting along the bottom. I recently had it undercoated, and that was a good investment. But overall, it's in good shape for a 16-year-old work vehicle. It's about 18 feet long, 7 feet wide, and 9 feet tall with the ladder racks on it. I keep two ladders on top. One is a telescoping ladder that reaches up to 18 feet, and the other one you see here is a 28-foot extension ladder. It's really convenient with this ladder rack. And for the custom belt shelves and drawers inside the cargo area, I took inspiration from Ron Pauk, R-O-N-P-A-U-L-K, who's another YouTuber and builder. All right, so starting on the right door here, I used a piece of three quarter inch ply bolted to the door uh, and then hung all my tools off of it. So these are all custom little hangers here, uh, just made out of PVC and my circular saw. This is kind of tricky to mount, but basically the plate of the saw fits into these little clips at the bottom, just like that, and it holds it in pretty good. And these side pieces keep it from swaying back and forth. So this is my caulk station. And I just use the hole saw, cut out a bunch of holes in plywood. And I plan to make another shelf here just to hold more tubes. And this is my caulking gun. This is just another uh, piece of PVC. So there you have it. Now this, this cable here is just to, to tie off the door when it gets really windy out so the door doesn't fly closed. And I will show you how that works. So this cable is just quarter inch nylon braided cable here, uh, super strong but it just hooks up here. And that prevents the door from flying closed. So on the left side here, I did the same thing. This is three quarter inch ply and just custom built all these other add-ons here. This is my uh, Rubbermaid trash bin here. You can see it's seen this days as well. Mixed concrete in here and a whole bunch of other stuff. Dustpan contractor bags. This is where I keep my shop towels. Uh, I'm all out right now. I gotta go get some more of those. Uh, this is my step stool. It fits into these two clips here. Moving on inside the cabin to the right side, we've got these drawers that I built and this little cabinet here that I made. I had some extra storage on the side here, so I made a little cabinet. I've got these Acro bins, uh, A-K-R-O bins. You can find them on Amazon. They're great. Um, made out of really durable plastic and they're interlocking so you can stack them. They also have a spot on the front where you can make some labels. So I just, as you can see, I got some gloves in here, some work gloves, got some surgical gloves for mixing different things. I got some long screws here. I think these are like ledger screws. And I've got some foam paint brushes. These come in handy. I use these all the time. I got these cups for mixing and I got my big carpenter squares here so that works out store some more things but let me show you these drawers so pull up this bottom one 
So these drawers are about 55 inches deep. Uh, this bottom drawer is where I keep longer stuff like clamps, painting poles, my drop cloth. I got some plastic sheeting, Tyvek wrap. I keep my reciprocating saw in here, just bigger tools, zip wall system. Uh, so that comes in handy. And uh, push this back in. Let's take this middle drawer out. Now this middle drawer is for specialty tools. As you can see, I got more acro bins here. They work out great. Uh, keep all the loose stuff in one bin so I can just get up here. Take one of these out. I get more down there. And they stack nicely, they slot in. So I don't have to worry about them moving around at all. You can see they're pretty tight. They all stay in place in transit and that's what I want. So they're just tight enough to stay, but not that tight enough so I can't open them. I'll show you what I got up here. This is just all painting, basically. Uh, painting, drywall, that type of thing. I recently made this little cubby up here. It's insulated, so in the winter, I don't really have to take things in. I got all my paints, putties, everything, WD-40, spray paint. So that works out pretty well. You can see I dadoed the sides, the side walls here so they just fit in nicely. Also here I built some depth stops for my levels. This is two feet. This is my four foot one. Moving on to the left side here, we got a lot to look at. I recently installed these. These are just tilt out drawers. Uh, they come in handy. They just tilt out and pop out if you need to access them quickly. And this was basically just to collect all the loose nuts and bolts that I have after various different jobs. So I'll, I'll sort these later. I plan to label them at some point. Uh, I recently built this thing to hold batteries. Over here, I got my Vutainers. These are really handy. They open like that. I, I typically just pop off the lid. They spill right out. So I got all different types of screws, this and that. I got my electrical reel here. This is my apron. This is probably the best tool purchase I've ever made. It's coming so handy. And you can see it's pretty worn down at this point. Uh, but I keep some tape here, some PPE, some safety goggles, air protection. I keep my pole saw, use this a lot. And just a couple different hammers. And I've got my Ryobi shop vac. This thing is good to have. So there we go. And up here I keep uh, just a broom and a couple clamps. I also have a post hole digger back there, if you can see. Up here is my kneeling mat. Use that a lot. So next I will take you inside. So moving in here, I can fit wood on top of here. You can see I got a bunch of just scrap wood and uh, cedar shims. And actually I can fit a four by eight sheet of plywood, drywall, whatever, on top of here. It slots right in nicely. I don't have to keep it, I don't have to clutter up this main aisle here. So I just get this, this foam pad just for kneeling and getting in and out, it makes it a little bit more comfortable. I got two shelves over here. So I keep my tool bag, uh, some different tools here. I got a collapsible crate. This is actually a collapsible uh, seat, it comes in handy. I got my five gallon bucket here with some tiling tools, sander, orbital sander. Up here, I just carry my uh, job site radio. Love this thing. This is a shop vac, Ryobi uh, wet dry vac. And I've got some drywall powder here. 
this these are my upper shelves here and I got this neat magnetic catch system here so if I just release it, it keeps it nice and snug and it doesn't rattle around when I'm driving so I just keep some more caulking tubes up here some uh, tool manuals this is where I keep my shop towels as you can see I'm all out and I keep some scrap drywall pieces right there <laughs> my compressor the more acro bins so I've labeled these off and I just keep them supplied so here I'll show you what this is in a minute this is for my table saw and back here this is just get this out of the way what work van would be complete without a toilet All right, so this is the side of the van. You can see my table saw, miter saw, another corded circular saw. I got my dado stack here. This is a circular saw guide track. And this is a um, push stick for my table saw. So it just keeps it nice and safe. Over here, I get some more storage. I got my leaf blower. This comes in handy. I'm working outside and I just need to blow off the area after I'm working. I got some post hole diggers. This is my drywall T-square. I have a foldable hand truck and two saw horses in there. So this box here actually swings out for convenient access to the van from uh, the side. So I will show you how that works. So I'm making our way to the front here. Pretty standard issue work van here. I like this partition, uh, especially in the colder months, keeps the warm air when I'm blasting the heat up here. Got uh, another collapsible crate, keep a bunch of different stuff in here. Uh, wipes, Kleenex. Got a little trash back there. This is my seat down there keep first aid whatnot business cards some hand sanitizer so pretty basic got my bluetooth device there and phone holder and there you have it hope you enjoyed that i'd love to see what type of setup you got in your work van feel free to comment below uh, there'll be future videos coming uh, i plan to do a new drawer build on this side to make it even more optimized and so that i don't have to get in the van as much uh, so stay tuned for that, but thanks for watching. Cheers.